Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. I want to start by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. And if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be decorating my Happy Planner Mini Horizontal On-The-Go Planner for the week of May 27th through June 2nd. So if you'd like to join me for this plan with me, then let's get started. <music> Okay, friends, so I'm excited to be decorating in my planner for this week, and I want to do a Memorial Day theme spread, and I definitely want to wish everyone a wonderful Memorial Day. Hope you're all um, getting to celebrate the day with family and friends, and uh, and so I wanted to do, um, as I said, a, a more Memorial Day theme spread. So I have a bunch of... Um, different sticker books that I want to pull from um, but the main I guess star of the show <laughs> is going to be this uh, scrapbook paper that I um, purchased from Joanne. Um, this is by the Park Lane um, brand and it is uh, called Patriotic. I got this on clearance last year, in fact, and I just held on to this paper because it has so many great um, theme spreads for like Memorial Day or for 4th of July um, and so forth. So I thought this would go really well for, um, for this week. So that's what I wanted use and I'll just do kind of a quick flip through of it um, it's double-sided which is great and as I said you've got so many great patterns I love that watermelon they're summer themed stars and stripes and popsicles and fireworks and everything so so that's the paper that I'm going to use and what I did was I pulled uh, these two sheets, this one with this dog print on it. Oh my goodness, and it it's just so precious. I love um, with like the little red and, and blue bandana. So I wanna kinda cut out some of the dogs and um, put that onto the page. And I also have this paper that is just kinda the red, white, and blue stripes. So I thought that would be a lot of fun. Um, and then I am gonna pull some boxes um, from the Live Love Posh Functionally Chic sticker book, um, just because this was blue. And then same thing, the Functionally Chic um, Red Bloom sticker book for some red boxes. So, um, and then lastly, I did grab the um, Happy Planner Essential Holiday sticker book um, to just pull, I actually pulled a couple things already um, this flag here and then this sticker that says Memorial Day. Um, so that's all I'm going to really be grabbing out of um, this sticker book here. So that's my uh, idea. <laughs> and I guess the last thing I'll just mention is I do have this washi, this red and white polka dot one, as well as this blue and star um, one. So I'll see about bringing some of that in as well. But uh, in terms of being able to cut out these dogs, I am going to use my Happy Planner. This is like a box punch. I haven't used this thing in years. <laughs> and I've had it probably since, I don't know, 2018 when I first started planning. So I said this would be the perfect use for it. So I do need to um, kind of trim this down a little bit. Um, just so that my sizing works um, as I want to kind of trim out the dogs here. So let me just, I think that should be well enough just so I can kind of get the complete pieces. So all you do um, is is just take um, the paper and slide it right in 
and you can visually see, um, you know, the, the punch of like the square and everything that it's going to create. So that's why I wanted to trim off a little bit just so that I could get the complete dog in it as much as possible. So that looks good. And so I'll just put this down and I'll actually just sit it down onto the table just so I have a good level surface. And I'm just gonna press that and it just punches right through. And so that's one super cute, uh, I love it. Uh, and then let's see, I wanted to get one with the dog and it'll just be a little bit shorter, but kind of the dog facing this way. So let me do that as well. And again, this one will be a little bit smaller, but that works. And let's see, I've got one facing kind of on the left side. So maybe one on the right side as well. So let me just kind of cut this, get that out the way. And then that way I can kind of grab this dog here and it's facing the right direction that I need. Perfect. All right. So I've got a few different dogs. And then I did want to try to get kind of this longer one here. So let's see if I can do that from this top section. Yes, that should work well. And again, just trying to center it. And I'll just press that down. Again, just going to punch. Okay, great. Just like right from the corner on down. Okay. And maybe something like that. Okay. So let's grab a pen just so I can like mark where I need to trim and I'm going to use my paper trimmer again and this doesn't have to be perfect just want to have a little bit of a rough cut and then same thing here. And okay. Just enough to kind of trim that out. So maybe something like that. Okay. And then I am going to just grab my white out for that notes and then I am going to take my Tombow permanent adhesive and just kind of mostly focus on the edges just so it doesn't lift Okay, that's probably more than enough. All right, and then I wanna just stick this right into that corner. Okay, yay, love it already. Just use my Tombow adhesive and just focusing mostly on the edges to be able to glue down. I'm not going to worry about whiting anything out because it is just going to be completely covered. And just come right here 
and smooth that down. Okay. So how about I bring that here and this one underneath on Memorial Day and then just bringing in that flag. Okay, that looks good. I think I just need to straighten up the box just a little bit. right to the edge okay so that looks good I think I'll go this direction with the hollow box again my tape runner and stick that right down yes Let's see about maybe Putting a couple of bullet points here and jazz it up with a little bit of washi. And just layer those pieces together. Okay, that looks cute. Tape. And we'll put dog here, and I think I want to layer the box with it. Super cute, and the dog is smiling. <laughs> or at least looks like he's smiling to me. And this box here. All right. And maybe this one I'll layer. And let me just grab my white out just so that darker red isn't showing through. And this will be good for like weekend to-do lists. And let's get a little bit of blue up here. As well. And again, I want to grab a few bullet points. One here. Okay. And again, a little bit of that polka dot. And she. And then the stripe. Super cute. Where do I want it to go? So I think there. And I'm just going to trim off the extra, I think, up here as well. I can use that a little bit. here. Let's bring those here. Super cute. A little bit more here. So let's bring that box with the yes. 
very festive and fun for Memorial Day. So I think that is going to wrap up this plan with me. Love how this came together. You'll definitely have to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if you <laughs> put, put, uh, purchase this punch, I remember, as I said, like when I first started planning and um, with the Happy Planner and I had to buy like all the sticker books, all the accessories, <laughs> the, of course, the full size punch and then this box sticker punch. So it's so fun after all these years, you know, being able to use it again. And, um, and of course, you know, being able to pull out my scrapbook paper and use it to create a festive spread. So if you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and give me a big thumbs up. Would greatly appreciate you subscribing I thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye friends.